This is Good Morning Sun Coast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And I'm Don Brennan, along with Josh, who's in for John. I, we're yes. we're going to be saying Josh and John Josh all morning. Josh and John all long. morning. Sorry yes. about we that, Josh. We have the same initials. Good morning, you. John Scalzi, yeah. Josh Stone, Stone JS. Yeah. I know. There you go. A storm us. For, <laughs> sorry, well, it's okay. You know, but this Braden River story, see, athletes in the storm. Yes. Everybody, you know, we hear a lot about the the wrong side of athletics. But mm -hmm. here's a story where, in fact, the woman wrote to the head coach. Right? You told me about that. The woman wrote to the head wrote coach to, the coach. to, yep. to uh, compliment what y wonderful young men they were to help her when, mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't called for. And mm -hmm. It's a great story. Yes. We can't wait to tell you about it. I'm it to had to do with, with Hurricane Hermine as well, ah, which we're not having to deal yes. with anymore, thankfully. Clear skies for football Friday night tonight? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, well, we may have some showers, though. Um, we do have the dryer coming, actually, arguably from the backside of what was once Hermine that tracked up the eastern mm -hmm. seaboard. But this afternoon, tonight, there may be some showers and storms. Oh, of course, boy. we're going to break that down coming up. But let's check out our current temperatures right oh. now in the mid to upper 70s, so pretty comfortable outside. The radar is quiet. No, Donna Rebecca talked about the showers and storms possibly, uh, you know, are they going to affect the football games? Well, it, it looks like we do have a better rain chance coming in later today and as we go through uh, our weekend. Of course, we'll talk more about that a little bit later, guys. All right, thanks a lot, Josh. Taking a look at Suncoast Roadways on this Friday morning. Get your weekend off in good stead, and right now it looks to be the case as everything's moving along nicely in Manatee County. No issues or delays on 75, 301, or 41. And as you move down into Sarasota County, no issues there either. It's looking good. All moving along nicely right now. Now, topping our news this morning, a Manatee County woman is behind bars accused of trying to have her ex-husband killed. Why did you do right. it? Well, Rachel being silent as Why she was taken want? into handcuffs from the sheriff's office to a squad car waiting outside or waiting for her outside. The 34 year old now faces charges for solicitation of murder. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office started its investigation last month after receiving a tip. They say Leahy offered to pay an undercover detective $5,000 to kill her ex-husband, a 59-year-old who lives in Sarasota. She was arrested after trying to give the detective half of the payment. An investigation revealed Leahy wanted her ex-husband killed so that she could have custody of their children. The ex-husband is declining to comment at this time. Meanwhile, an employee at a Bradenton daycare where an infant was bitten multiple times by another child is now under arrest. Casey Burke is being charged with one count of child neglect. According to the arrest report on the day of the incident, Burke was responsible for approximately five children whom she left unsupervised for several hours. Burke has since been fired by Jay's Bright Learners Daycare. It's one thing if you go get a drink of water, you go to the restroom, but this was an extended period of time where she wasn't in charge of these children, and that's when the biting took place. Burke is the only staff member charged, though the incident has sparked investigations with the state attorney's office and the Department of Children and Families, both of which are ongoing. With plans being made across the country for the 15th anniversary of September 11th this weekend, a commemoration is still set for the Sarasota National Cemetery. The Sarasota Ministerial Association says a recent hack of their Facebook page and email server led to false information being shared. A post and email was sent out saying that the 9-11 commemoration planned for Sunday was canceled. The president of the association says that is not the case. The commemoration will still take place at the cemetery beginning at 6 o'clock on this Sunday night. Meanwhile, the Suncoast Blood Bank will be honoring the anniversary by hosting a blood drive this Sunday. The blood drive will be held at the Lakewood Ranch Donor Center on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard from noon until 5. Donors will receive a free t-shirt while local restaurants will provide food and beverages. The blood bank says they need to collect 125 units of blood every day year round to meet the needs of the community. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is looking to improve communication with the community. The Sheriff's Office is partnering with the Next Door Social Network in an attempt to 
connect with local neighborhoods. Nextdoor is a website where residents can create a page for their neighborhood to share information regarding public safety, community events, and local services. The Sheriff's Office will also be able to post news and emergency notifications on the website to more easily share it throughout the county. The website is free to use and those interested can go to nextdoor.com and enter their address and be part of the website. Menti County drivers with a suspended license will get a reprieve today. Today the county is offering its first ever driver's license reinstatement day, an amnesty of sorts. Now from noon till 5, those who have registered with the county will be able to meet with staff to receive help reinstating their license. Only those who have registered in advance can request an appointment. The event is for those who have had their license suspended because they failed to pay for a traffic citation. Changes could be coming to Fruitville Road between 41 and 301. The proposed changes would eliminate the bike lanes on that stretch of roadway. Sarasota is considering two $9 million alternatives, though. The first plan is to widen the sidewalks to 10 feet. The second would add three roundabouts at the intersections of Fruitville, at Coconut, Central, and Lemon, allowing for these sidewalks to be widened to 16 feet. Some bicycle enthusiasts are doing what they can to keep the bike lanes right where they are, though. Fruitville Road is the only, perhaps with the exception of uh, University Parkway, the only road we have for bicyclists to travel east-west. Our analysis and traffic studies have shown that there are few bicyclists utilizing this corridor today. And the ones that do generally are only on the corridor for short periods of time. The city of Sarasota will hold a public hearing on this in about two months before it's presented to the commissioners. The Amish and Mennonite Pinecraft community in Sarasota County will soon have more room for visitors. The Sarasota County Commission unanimously approving plans for a new hotel in the heart of the Pinecraft neighborhood. The Dutchman Hospitality Group needed the zoning changes in order to move forward with their proposal. Now the Carlisle Inn will be built behind the Der Dutchman restaurant on Bay of Vista Street. Once complete, the four-story hotel will include 103 rooms and will also have an off-street parking lot. No word yet on when construction will begin. But it doesn't look like a new hotel will be going up on Longbow Key anytime soon. Last week, residents voted down a referendum that would have allowed a developer to move forward with the plan to build the North End Hotel and Beach Club along Gulf of Mexico Drive. The developer says at this time he does not plan to continue pursuing the project. Well, as dredging projects continue on Lido Key, Longbow Key commissioners will meet next month to decide which canals need to be dredged there. An engineering consultant has been studying the depth of the island's canals and inlets to see which areas may need to, may need to be dredged, and the commission will also have to decide who pays for the projects. Previous dredging has been paid for through general operating funds, now one option is to move the cost over to property owners who will benefit from that dredging. Public meetings will be held before any financial decisions are made. The town already has $700,000 in infrastructure surtax for canal dredging and maintenance and an additional $350,000 set aside for next year for expenses related to the waterways. Thank you, Rebecca. I'll take it from here. USF Sarasota Manatee is setting another enrollment record. The university is reporting that total enrollment for this semester is up 1.6%, which tops last fall's enrollment record of 2,038 students. Admissions officials say these numbers confirm that the school remains on a growth track after becoming a four-year institution in 2013. Staying on colleges, students at the State College of Florida Collegiate School are putting their homework assignment to good use. Sixty students were tasked with writing a book in English and Spanish to send to a child in another country. They had to research, write, draw, and translate their stories into Spanish. The assignment is part of an initiative to expand students' horizons and communicate with people from around the world. One of our initiatives is for students to be global citizens, to be globally aware of what's going on in the world. So our sixth grade class last year, um, we decided to promote literacy. My book is about colors and it is written in Spanish and English so the kids in Honduras can translate from Spanish to English so it'll help them learn English too. Each student wrote their own book, and all the books were originally set to go to Guatemala, but they will now be sent to a former SCF collegiate school teacher in Honduras who will distribute them to students there. I love that.
What yes. a great that is amazing. assignment. That is a great assignment. And you're assignment. doing something for somebody else, too. You're, yeah, exactly. Everybody's enriched by the project. And that's exactly what these three boys did. These yeah. Suncoast football players are being called heroes after helping a stranded woman during last week's tropical storm. Yeah, they say, what do they say? A friend in need is a friend indeed. Mm -hmm. I never got that when I was a kid, but now I get it. And these three got it. Yeah. ABC 7's Ray Collins tells us all about it. It's down to a matter of hours before Braden River's first home game Friday night, and the players are focused on football. But a few days ago, the coach said some of these players did something that was larger than football. Yeah, you know, I got an email from, uh, from the lady that was helped, and she ended the email with, you know, they were my heroes for the day. And here are those three heroes, Demetrius Lawson, Paul Wiggins, and Devante Seabrooks. They were at Lawson's house on 3rd Street West in Bradenton during the storm when this side street began flooding. Oh, this, this whole thing right here was flooded. Lawson showed us how high the water got on his waist. Two women got stuck in their van. Two of the boys began to spring into action, and the third caught cell phone video of the very end of their good deed when the water got lower. The driver says she thought she and her 87-year-old passenger were going to have to get out and swim. And nobody else was helping her, so it was like, why not just have do a good deed and help her? The woman offered the boys $20 for their good deed, but the boys wouldn't take it. Like, she is like can barely talk to us because she, she is so emotional yeah why didn't you take the money because um, it was just it didn't feel right because at the time it was like she she was in need so it was like why not help her like, we're not doing that and she's just sitting there how did it make you feel after you did it it made me feel good to know that i can help people you know because like i wouldn't want to be stuck in the same situation and nobody helped me Seabrook says word spread fast among his classmates. I had a couple like text me out there and stuff, and like good stuff. The coach says good deeds like this go a long way at this level. To kind of do those things outside of school, you know, it's, it's definitely shows some leadership and you know, kind of resonates throughout the program. The coach says the boys made the entire school proud. In the newsroom, Ray Collins, ABC7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, great story. I mean, the woman was so touched by it, she wanted to give the boys money. They wouldn't accept it, and they, she said she had to do something. Sent a long email to the coach saying, can I contribute to their program in any way because of what they did for me? See, they paid it forward, and they learned, it, and they proved a valuable yeah. lesson that you actually feel better when you give. And, yeah. you, you know, and they you know, are euphoric because mm -hmm. they've helped somebody out without, mm -hmm. you know, without being asked to. They did it on their own, you know, of their yeah. own volition. And ended up great. supporting their whole program, so yeah. that's wonderful. It shows their true character. Yeah. I think that's yeah. great. Well, as far as our rain chance for the kickoff for Friday night football, yeah, 7:30. I think we can get the games in. Okay. Halftime though, halftime. Uh, that's not that's be, the problem. We're not going to be driving through that floodwaters, are we? Ah, uh, hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not. Hopefully <laughs> not. Come on. Knee deep in we'll see in a few minutes. Week. We'll break it down for you. Coming <laughs> up. Okay. Also coming up, a national bank now in hot water after federal regulators say they open millions of unauthorized accounts for customers without their knowledge, even moving their funds. More on that coming up. Stay with us. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct pricing. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. For Florida homes. By Florida workers. Because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years. More miles. And when you're ready to sell, you'll get more money back. Come fall in love with the longest lasting vehicle in its class. The Subaru Outback. Or lease a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing right now during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPV. They took that stress 
and that tension when I was particularly feeling very bad <laughs> after that nasty car accident. And it was such a relief to know that I didn't have to bear that burden alone, that I had help. Our goal is to not just get a, a satisfactory settlement on their case. We want them up on their feet, happy again. They've gotten their life back. Welcome to the all-new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour quality selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. Seymour for your trade. Seymour savings. It's the Buick 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Encore models in stock. That's nearly $5,000 below MSRP on the 2016 Buick Encore. Seymour now at Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuickGMC.com. See everyone on this Friday morning. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in place for John Scalzi this morning. It's 78 here in Sarasota. Pretty nice to start the day. A little muggy though. 74 is a dew point at this time. But our weather headlines today: highs lower to mid 90s. Just to let you know, yesterday our high topped out at 95 degrees. Our average is 89, so above that here in Sarasota. And then of course. Uh, Further inland, it was quite warm as well. Scattered afternoon showers and storms will take place today. I think they're going to probably be inland and then uh, probably maybe eight, nine ish in the evening. That's maybe when those storms could get to the coast. Tropics are quiet right now, not a whole lot going on. There's a few things to talk about. We'll get to that in just a second. Okay, looking at the Titan radar general pattern east to west you know the story the high pressure up to the north bringing that wind around it and that's uh, going to help warm things up once again to above average but there's a few scattered showers out here in the gulf and just off the atlantic coast but not a lot going on give me something to talk about but bob harrigan tonight will talk about the showers and storms coming into the sun coast right now all i have to tell you is things are quiet and the tropics around our immediate area are relatively quiet, but uh-oh, what is this? We do have a wave coming off the coast of Africa. I've been watching this for a few days now, and the National Hurricane Center gives us about a 60% chance of developing into maybe a stronger system. The track is a little further south now, but it looks to take a north-northwestern track. We have to watch this closely, but some of the long range computer forecasting models I've looked at does take this into the open waters of the Atlantic and does not affect Florida. However, don't let your guard down because tomorrow happens to be the peak of the hurricane season. That's just statistically speaking, but September, the mid-September uh, uh, dates are really the peak of the hurricane season. After that, statistically, things start to go downhill as far as the activity, but again, folks, it just takes one storm and you know you, you got to watch what's going on in the tropics all the way till November 30th when officially the tropical season is over the hurricane season is over so once again high pressure is in control of our weather here's the high up to the north once again the easterly wind around it helped to warm our temperatures up and bring us uh, showers and storms in the afternoon uh, we also have a cold front out here in the Midwest not affecting us, but it is affecting, unfortunately, a lot of people through the Midwest with uh, severe weather. So that could cause travel delays if you're heading in that direction. Dry air on top of the state limiting the widespread showers and storms over the last few days. But that starts to break down as more activity comes in here again, maybe 7, 8 o'clock, 8.30 tonight. More showers and storms around the Sun Coast. We'll take a look at it uh, pretty closely uh, as we go through the day. But I think we could get some more storms coming in here. As far as our uh, boating forecast and well the rest of the forecast here low 90s and showers and storms throughout the weekend guys. Thanks so much Josh. As far as your commute this morning at 519 starting in Palmetto the bridges there are clear the interstate also looking pretty good a little bit of a slowdown northbound on 301 as you approach State Road 70 but no accidents to report so far everything looks good on 41 301 in the interstate into Sarasota. Everything's green on the roadways in Sarasota, which is great to see. No slowdowns, no issues. And South Sarasota County, 
looks great as well. Well, we've got a lot of entertainment options this weekend. It's not always the case. Sometimes not the always weekends the you case, get a couple yeah. things, two, three things to do, a couple, two, three things. But now <laughs> ABC's Luna 7's Linda Carson has the details in today's Suncoast scene. Here it is. We've got a lot to be proud of here on the Sun Coast. One thing is the amazing bromeliads that grow here. See for yourself at the Sarasota Bromeliad Society's 2016 show and sale. Bewitching bromeliads is the theme of the show at the Sarasota Garden Club this weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Come out and I guarantee you'll find a bromeliad that will steal your heart. It's at the Sarasota Garden Club. It's an event where all the members of the club bring in plants to have them judged in different categories. And, uh, and then at the end of the judging, different people will win in the category that they selected. And on Saturday night, we have a banquet where we hand out the awards and we also have an auction, a rare plant auction. There'll be more than 1,500 bromeliads, some very rare, a must-see for plant lovers. Just to see a diverse selection of plants that you're not going to normally see anywhere, um, a lot of these plants come out of the members' collections and most people don't really get to see these a lot. It's going to be a great weekend here at Florida Studio Theater. All kinds of things are going on. Wait till you see the Gigi's. That indeed da do you da sisters, sisters. What you're going to experience is uh, 60s music all the way to today's modern music featuring female artists. So it's got a big palette of great tunes. You'll know how to sing along to all these songs. Uh, so it's a good, good show, toe-tapping show. And Saturday night, the Florida Studio Theater presents Improv. You come in every Saturday night, 6.30 to 7.30. You can dine, 7.30 the show starts. And no two shows are the same because they are literally made up on the spot. It's live improv. Want to take a trip to India without ever leaving the Sun Coast and learn all about the culture from those who know it best? Well, come to the India Fest. It's at the Bradenton Area Convention Center on Saturday. This year we have theme of history of India. So there will be a lot of fun, uh, education, and uh, there is a lot to see, a lot to enjoy this year. There'll be live entertainment, educational exhibits, and vendors with everything from food to jewelry. That's Saturday, noon to 8. All right, thank you, Linda. Looks like a lot of fun. There's so much to do. That was, uh, she's had a really colorful week, like well, yeah. all the dress and the dancing. And that's Linda, though. You're going to try and fit in all if in your schedule. Fun, Linda's there. That little vixen finds it. She does. <laughs> well, still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast. <laughs> is Netflix, uh, is that uh, giving you an issue with your kids? A new study seems to think so. We'll have the details coming up. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. We promise we're more than a dealership. We're a destination with a movie theater, massage room, aquarium, cafe, and more. We promise to give you top dollar for your trade, even if you don't buy from us. And if you do, we promise you the best deal. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Get ready, college football fans. When you buy a $5 or more Fantasy Five ticket and enter your team's drawing, you could win great prizes like team merchandise, tickets to your team's games, and other bowl game experiences. You could even win a championship weekend prize pack in Tampa or $10,000 cash. Fantasy Five from the Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Since 1972, Sleep King has provided quality mattresses and accessories at the best discounted prices available. Top brands like Simmons, Sealy, Serta, Beautyrest, iComfort, and more. With available free delivery, free financing, and free setup and removal. For a comfortable night's sleep with same day delivery, even if we have to carry it on our backs. Trust Sleep King of Sarasota. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota.
It is 525. Just days after Apple unveiled the new iPhone, pre-sales already taking off. Uh, it's no surprise, right? Yeah. ABC's Diane Macedo and Nick Watt have the details. In today's Tech Bites, the rush is on for the iPhone 7. The Apple website began taking pre-orders at midnight Pacific time. But don't expect to see the first weekend sales numbers. This year, Apple isn't going to release them, saying it already knows it will sell every iPhone 7 available. Binge-watching streaming service is the new play for kids. A new study finds kids are spending more time watching programming than playing outside. They, kids, are spending an average of nearly two hours a day watching streaming services, but average just four to seven minutes a day playing outside. And finally, drone deliveries are the beginning of something really important to college students, burritos. Chipotle and a company associated with Google begin delivering food to the Virginia Tech campus this month, the most extensive test yet of drone deliveries in the U.S. Those are your Tech Bites. Tech Bites, brought to you by Delta Faucets. To those who don't run from mud, but through it who know it wasn't a day at the beach unless someone got buried. To the fullbacks, gearheads, and those with green thumbs. To the sticky, the stinky, even those who get a little icky. To all the beautiful mess makers, keep it up. With Delta Intuition plus H2O Kinetic, you can see what Delta can do. Dive into delight where chocolatey goodness intertwines with 20% of your daily fiber. So magical it could have been called Paradise of Heavens. But it wasn't. Fiber One, so delicious it should have another name. It's Macy's One Day Sale Saturday with a preview day Friday. Get an extra $20 off when you spend $50 on select merchandise with your savings pass 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Earn plenty points during Macy's One Day Sale. Plenty, lots of points, lots of places, one rewards program. Hurricane season is here. We'll make sure you're prepared. Watch our hurricane special on our ABC7 app and all our live streaming platforms. Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Temperatures on the Sun Coast are rising and the deals are hotter than ever during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. You'll feel cooler than ever when you drive away in a new Jeep Cherokee for as little as $19,999 or take home a stylish new Jeep Renegade for just $17,999. How about a new 2016 Jeep Patriot for just $14,999? Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. Welcome to the all-new Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Seymour smiles. Seymour quality selection of new and pre-owned vehicles. 
see more for your trade. See more savings. It's the Buick 2016 Model Year Sell Down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Encore models in stock. That's nearly $5,000 below MSRP on the 2016 Buick Encore. See more now at Seymour Buick GMC on the island of Venice. Go to SeymourBuickGMC.com. Coming up on Good Morning Suncoast, the U.S. is now investigating after claims surface in North, North Korea is testing more nuclear weapons. Plus, Wells Fargo now under fire and paying up after being accused of fraudulent practices. Why Sarasota is ranked one of the best in the state for sporting events. Live from the ABC7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Welcome back. I'm Rebecca Vargas. And along with Josh Stone, who's in for John Scalzi. I'm Don Brennan, and I'm uh, taken aback. The best in the state. That's one of it. the best in the, the state. Nation? We should be one of the best in the nation. You we know, we have a lot of events. we have the best in the world for beaches. We have the best in the nation for well-being. IMG here. Don't we have get greedy. Benderson, which is holding the world That's championships. True. We have yeah. the the motocross, which has just been redone for the for world the Olympics, championships. So the Olymp yeah, we've had the Olympic trials here. Don't we have some sort of? No, thing? we what had some Olympic Olympic thing. Yeah, it's the world championships. Oh, that's what it is. We yeah. have great football Leave it to players. Don know the right. But terms. I mean, so like these are worldly events, not yeah. just state. State seems so. That's okay. Maybe this is just the precursor, and then we'll beat everybody else in yeah, the world. I'm so. gonna get my little motocross bike out and try the new. He's been complex. wanting to try it out. It's as a kid, <laughs> I would, I, yeah, I would have never done anything else. Yeah, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Wow. you would have never seen him here if That's he had right. that motocross. I'd be a 50-year-old motocross <laughs> rider trying to hang on. That's impressive. That'd be fun. I think a lot of people would probably get out there this weekend. Yeah, the rain would hold up, right? It, it looks like the rain chance is going to increase, mm -hmm. though, but uh, maybe not enough to stop anyone like mm -hmm. Don Brennan, you know, to get on the motocross. It's motocross. We go through the mud, everything. We don't worry about rain. <laughs> exactly. You tough it out. Yeah. You exactly. tough it out. But right now, if you walk outside, uh, we don't have to worry about toughing anything out because it's very comfortable. 78 degrees, 2.74, humidity at 87 right now. The radar is quiet and looks like for Friday night football, at least to begin with, I think we're going to be okay. It just gets a little chancy as we go through uh, the hours of the game, maybe up towards halftime where there could be some isolated storms that could affect some of the games. But we'll keep that uh, monitored closely. As far as our forecast today, it looks like we're going to be above average again. Our average, by the way, guys, is an 89. We've been above that for several days now. Uh, looks like we're going to have that happen again today. And then some isolated showers and storms will develop in the late afternoon. But like I said, maybe about 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, we'll just have to watch the radar, guys. Thank you, Josh. We'll hear a little more from him in a bit. But Suncoast traffic right now is starting to pick up a little bit for this time of the morning on 41 North. You see... Uh, a little bit of a backup and delay as you approach Cortez Road. It's all the way back past State Road 70, but no accident there to show why there's a backup. Maybe just a long traffic light and a little extra cars this morning. Everything else in Manatee County looking good. Sarasota looking good for the most part. Maybe a little bit of a hot spot as you get off 75 and head west on Fruitville Road. But otherwise, everything's free and clear. No impediments to getting where you want to go at this point in the morning. Topping our news this half hour, U.S. officials are looking into North Korea's latest test with nuclear weapons. North Korea claims to have successfully tested a nuclear warhead, which could be mounted on ballistic rockets. The test created an explosion that registered as a 5.3 magnitude earthquake in North Korea. It's the country's fifth nuclear test and largest one yet. State Department spokesman John Kirby released a statement saying the U.S. is aware of the seismic activity at the test site and is monitoring and assessing the situation. A U.S. Air Force sniffer jet is joining four similar jets from Japan testing for radiation. A former U.S. ambassador to South Korea says issuing sanctions for the testing will not be enough. I think we have to sit down with countries like China and go through what could be conceivable options that would physically slow this thing down. And leaders in South Korea and Japan are also condemning the nuclear testing. 
On the campaign trail, a new Florida poll shows that Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump tied among likely general election voters. The Quinnipiac University poll has both the Democratic and Republican nominees at 43 percent support, almost the same as a survey conducted by Quinnipiac last month. Meanwhile, Libertarian Gary Johnson has 8 percent support, while Green Party candidate Jill Steen is polling at 2 percent. Exactly two months out from the election, Quinnipiac also released polls in other key battleground states. Those show Trump with a slight lead in Ohio and Clinton with slight leads in North Carolina and Pennsylvania. In North Carolina, Quinnipiac found that Gary Johnson is polling at 15 percent. He'll need that amount in some national polls to be able to be included on the debate stage. If the turnout for the August 30th primary election is any indication, November's general election could see big numbers in Florida. That's what Florida's Secretary of State believes after the primary results were formally certified this week. More than 2.9 million voters cast primary election ballots. That's about a 24 percent turnout rate. And that is the highest percentage for a primary since 2004. We could anticipate as much as an 80 percent turnout and set a record. I think the last, uh, the highest number in the state of Florida was 1992, was 82 percent. Um, but I'm looking for a very, very large turnout. And it's fortunate that Florida, we have many options for voters. The presidential race will likely help boost turnout in the November 8th election, which also will include races for the U.S. Senate, House, and proposed constitutional amendments. Opponents of a solar energy ballot initiative are rolling out a coalition linking environmentalists and the Green Party of Florida with groups of Republicans and Libertarians. The Vote No, no on One campaign takes aim at Amendment 1 on the November ballot. It's supported by a group known as Consumers for Smart Solar. Amendment 1 would essentially put into the state constitution existing rules on the use of solar energy in Florida. Critics, however, feel the amendment would limit rooftop energy choices, reduce competition, and expand the monopoly powers of the state's giant utilities. This is the utility companies using trigger words and fear-mongering to dupe Florida voters into allowing them to place constraints on anyone who would hope to produce solar power in their homes or at their business. Supporters say the intent of the amendment is to protect the right of Floridians to generate their own solar electricity while ensuring government continues to have a role that protects consumers against unfair subsidies. As a result of Hurricane Hermine, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission has decided to extend the recreational red snapper season an extra seven days this year. The decision comes after Governor Rick Scott made the request due to the economic impact the season has for Gulf Coast communities. Fishermen lost fishing days when Hurricane Hermine hit the Gulf Coast last week. The open season dates will now run every weekend in November to make up for it. The original red snapper season in state waters was scheduled to be open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays through the end of October. And the U.S. Coast Guard is suspending a search for a woman who allegedly jumped off of a cruise ship. Rena Patel was reported missing on Wednesday on the Carnival Ecstasy. She had been on the 11th deck of the ship as it passed near the Bahamas. The cruise line says she jumped overboard and they have witnesses that saw it happen. Coast Guard aircraft and two ships were brought in to search for her. The search was called off late last night pending any further developments. In consumer news this morning, Wells Fargo is under fire, accused of fraud on a massive scale, and now they're being leveled with a landmark fine. It's a little scary. ABC's Maggie Rooley has the details. The largest such payment in the history of the city attorney's office. A $185 million fine. This is a major victory for consumers. Consumers have to be able to trust their bank. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and Los Angeles City Attorney accusing thousands of Wells Fargo employees of widespread illegal sales practices that included secretly using customer information to open more than 2 million savings and credit card accounts, sometimes causing extra fees. All done so employees could meet aggressive sales goals. Many of those customers had no idea these accounts even existed. I have another account and I'll be putting more money in that other account. That's sad. Yeah. But I do look into my account so I know what account is there and what shouldn't be there. Wells Fargo is firing 5,300 employees in connection with the widespread scheme that spans at least five years. The bank has not admitted or denied wrongdoing, telling ABC News, while we regret every interaction that was not handled properly, the number of instances and team members involved represent a very small portion of our business. But ethics professor Joellen Posner is not letting Wells Fargo executives off the hook. 
And if a bank is really a trustworthy institution, then its managers and its top brass should know uh, what's happening at very low levels of the organization. Now, Wells Fargo has said that it will automatically put money back into the bank accounts of anyone who was affected. Maggie Ruley, ABC News, Washington. At least two Suncoast colleges are looking to open their doors to students displaced by this week's closure of ITT Tech. The move has left thousands of employees and students wondering what's next. The State College of Florida says those students have other options. They say not only do they have many of the same programs previously offered by ITT, but in many cases the classes are also less expensive. Manatee Technical College is also looking to attract students. We're here to help. Um, we've built a concierge team to be able to respond to the inquiries from admissions to advising and financial aid, presenting them with options. We're um, welcoming students with open arms. Um, anyone from ITT is welcome to come here. We will do our very best to give them advanced placement if they've already started a program and they're, they've completed some work in it. State College of Florida and Manatee Technical College are accepting applications even now. If you have a new Samsung phone and are flying anytime soon, the FAA is warning you not to use your phone on the plane. The warning comes after Samsung's recall of the Galaxy Note 7 smartphones after receiving complaints that the phone's battery catches fire. The company said a week ago it was stopping sales of these phones and would recall two and a half million of them in 10 countries. Now the FAA doesn't want passengers to turn on or charge the Note 7 phones while on board airplanes. It also does doesn't want people to stow them in any checked baggage. Punta Gorda Airport is celebrating a big achievement. The Charlotte County Airport Authority says the 12 month passenger total has exceeded 1 million passengers for the first time ever. From August 2015 to August of 2016, 1 million 14,000 passengers flew in or out of the Punta Gorda Airport. Passenger counts also increased by 35% between August of last year and August of this year. It's the 35th month in a row that the airport has seen an increase in passenger traffic. Sarasota County earning a top honor for continuing to bring in sports competitors from around the world. The county's Parks, Recreation and Natural Resources Department receiving the Excellence in Sports Tourism Award at the Florida Recreation and Park Association Annual Conference in Orlando. Around 80 sporting events were held at Sarasota County facilities last year, which brought in more than $33 million. Athletes from around the world are coming to the Sun Coast to take part in competitions at Nathan Benderson Park, the renovated BMX track, and other top-notch facilities. The Bucks, well, they opened their season Sunday at 1 in Atlanta against the Falcons, but a Super Bowl rematch took place in the NFL opener in Denver last night. The NFL kicked off the season with Denver hosting Carolina, and just like last February, the Panthers still cannot beat the Broncos. Denver's dominant defense came up big against Cam Newton again. As you saw that interception from back for a touchdown, the Broncos escaped with a 21-20 victory as the Panthers looked like they might avenge the thing of the Super Bowl loss, but Graham Gano missed a field goal with four seconds left. And the Broncos hang on to win. The Bradenton Marauders had to wait until last night to find out that they will play the Tampa Yankees in the Florida State League Championship beginning tonight at 6.30. The Yankee Stadium, Legends Field, is under renovation, so all games will be played at McKechnie Field, the best-case scenario. It's a best-of-five, and even though there'll be visitors for a couple of the games, they will be playing in their home stadium in all five games, if all five are necessary. That's tonight through Tuesday night. And the Pirates, also the director of Florida operations, Trevor Gooby, is leaving after the series for a vice president job with the Seattle Mariners. And the Pirates sent an official statement to me saying in part that while we're extremely happy for Trevor, we'll miss him professionally, but even more personally and more so we'll find it challenging to find someone to do the five jobs he's done so superbly <laughs> for 12 years. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, he, it's nice that they notice so much of what he's done. I talked to him yesterday and I talked to the mayor of Bradenton about it, how mm -hmm. it's going to be tough to replace him. It's it's nice to be yeah. at least felt like you're a little bit irreplaceable. Yeah, that is nice. Yes, but good luck to him in his yeah. new venture. Yeah, that's great. VP. Sounds good. Yeah, the baseball stadium, yes. That's awesome. And it's cool that we get to have all five games of the Yankees here, the Bradenton yes. Marauders, so I'm sure fans will love that. Well, well they've done renovations to the uh, the stadium in Bradenton. Oh, yeah. It looks incredible. Yeah. It looks phenomenal. He, he, he was for integral in, in that, mm -hmm. working with the city and the county. and. 
also in Pirate City. But yeah, it's, it should be a great series, the championship series. Hopefully they win and send Trevor out on a good note. Awesome. Okay, well, we're going to talk about your weather coming up, and it looks like we will have a chance of rain over the weekend. We'll break it down for you in just a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. We all know exercise is good for your health, but can also be good for your bank account. We'll tell you coming up. What does it mean when New South Window says Factory Direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at Factory Direct pricing. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Ford, Florida home. By Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window. We manufacture. We install. We guarantee. Call now. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere. Everywhere. To Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. U.S. Med has great news for anyone living with diabetes. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, U.S. Med will ship a new glucose meter right to your home. And shipping is free. My new meter uses only a speck of blood, so it's less painful than my previous meter. If you have Medicare, private insurance, or prescription drug coverage, you're covered with U.S. Med. We're welcoming new patients, even if your current provider can't supply you anymore. I don't even have to test on my fingers anymore. I can test on my hand or forearms, and it's more accurate than my old meter. So call US Med today, and you'll have a choice of two great meters. One that actually speaks your results, or a meter so small it fits in the bottle of strips. Act now, and US Med will include a free prescription discount card. We'll also send you a free diabetes cookbook. This is your opportunity. So call US Med today. You'll be glad you did. Today, everyone is looking for carpeting that lasts longer. G Freed has you covered with Karistan. With a legacy of quality and integrity, we provide you with a huge selection of Karistan carpets with exclusive lifetime limited warranties. All installed by our highly skilled, highly knowledgeable team. Come ask us why Karistan is the best and most durable. G Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Uh, they, they care. They, they take the time to understand you, take the time to understand your case. There's no better satisfaction to me than to see a client who is happy because of the job we've done for them. It's really actually very comforting to know that there's someone that you've heard of and you're getting recommendations about that you can turn to when you have a problem. I felt like I had a partner in this and uh, he was going to be by my side. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, and when you're ready to sell, you'll get more money back. Come fall in love with the longest lasting vehicle in its class, the Subaru Outback or lease a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month, or get 0% financing right now during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. So good to see you on this Friday. We finally made it to the weekend. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi today, and our temperatures right now are feeling pretty comfortable. 78 in Sarasota, 77 in Venice, while it's 76 in Northport, and Sebring, 73, as well as Lake Placid at this hour. Okay, looking at the radar, looks very quiet. A few showers over here in the Gulf of Mexico. Those are moving west of Florida, and a few scattered showers and storms out here in the Atlantic, but as you can see, the peninsula at this time, all clear, and that's due to high pressure and control. Also, we have dry air aloft, pretty much capping out the atmosphere. So a similar day is what's, uh, to yesterday is what's going to happen for us today uh, with the showers and storms. Uh, looks like they're going to be scattered in nature, but the moisture is starting to ramp up from the south and east, and we'll get to that in just a second. But let's talk about the tropics right now. You know, tomorrow happens to be the peak of the tropical season, statistically speaking. 
in mid-September. That's when things really ramp up. Fortunately, the tropics are quiet right now. Other than uh, this wave here we're paying a little close attention to has a 60% chance of developing into something maybe stronger and more organized. Right now it's kind of disorganized. However, the uh, computer forecasting models do take this to the north and west and most likely into the open waters of the Atlantic. However, the lesser Antilles will have to pay close attention to this. I don't think this is going to be coming our way, but something to just monitor. Remember, we still are in hurricane season. We're reaching the peak tomorrow, so we can't let our guard down just yet. It just takes one storm to affect us, and that could cause trouble. But fortunately, nothing is happening out there. There's some well, basically like a tropical wave to the south and east, and that's going to actually glide on in here over the weekend.